I'm going to show you how to make the protein chocolate and strawberry tea cakes. It's a really easy recipe. So first of all, we have 25 grams of protein lifestyle powdered oats. 25 grams of protein lifestyle chocolate whey. And I've also added 12 grams of green and black's cocoa powder. 25 grams of ground almonds. And two large eggs. Mix all that together until it makes a kind of dough for your biscuits. Okay, so the next step is to make your biscuits. So what you'll need to do is get a little bit of the powdered oats and use it like a flour so that the mixture doesn't stick to your hands. Sprinkle it over the mixture and sprinkle it on your hands. And it should make about 10 biscuits, which obviously when they're sandwiched together will give you five portions. So just roll it together in between your hands. And flatten it out into a biscuity shape. And then pop it straight onto uh, greaseproof paper that you've um, put a little bit of coconut oil to stop it sticking. Do that with all 10 biscuits and then pop it in the oven at 170 for 10 to 12 minutes. So whilst your biscuits are in the oven, you can get on with making the filling to go inside. It's really simple, basically 60 grams of fat-free yoghurt mixed with 25 grams of protein lifestyle whey protein concentrate, which is the strawberry flavour. You could use any flavour you like really, but I quite like the contrast of the strawberry with the chocolate. Mix that all together. Once you've mixed that all together, it's quite a runny sort of consistency with the yoghurt and the whey protein. So what we use is uh, xanthan gum, which is a gluten-free thickener. Just one level teaspoon will be enough to thicken it up. And then it will mean that when your biscuits are ready, you can easily spread it and it will hold its own shape within the biscuits. So after 10 to 12 minutes in the oven, they should be ready. So take them out, leave them to cool. Once they're completely cooled, you're ready to put the filling in. Just get a scoop ready on your knife. Pop it onto one of the biscuits. Put as much on as you fancy. And then sandwich it together. Repeat the process with all of the biscuits and then pop them in the freezer. Uh, once they've frozen together, that's when you're ready to coat them in the chocolate. So they only need about sort of 20, 30 minutes in the freezer just so that they hold together and they don't fall apart when you're covering them in the chocolate. So after they've been in the freezer for about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, take them out and you need to melt your chocolate in a pan. I'm using the Lindt 85% cocoa. And just grab one of your tea cakes, pop it into the chocolate, make sure it's covered all over. and then set it aside to set. That's it, done, just repeat the process with each one.